What's going on guys, hello and you're here back with another video, so let's get into it. So today we're going to be discussing the characters that I have gotten so far, doing the Kage, doing um from pools in the Kage treasures, and also from free draws. Uh, I got this dude from a free draw in um the Sage Treasures. I was actually surprised that I got this. I'm not sure how many pools I've done in Sage Treasures so far. So probably the next super rare I get from Six Treasure might be Six Naruto on a free pool as well. Um, but anyways, let me just go over the characters and do a little review on them so far. So the first character I got from Kage Treasures was Kurosuchi and I actually enjoy using Kurosuchi. I'm not using it right now in my main team because this is, this is my main team but in my second team, I use her. Like she is just a very good character to use. And now that I have Akatsuchi, I can actually make a uh, Earth theme or some type of fire mix with Earth like type of team because Akatsuchi buffs both Earth and Fire. So let's go over her skills, her stats, and everything about her. So she has for her mystery lava style quickline jutsu. She, it, it is a prompt which is helpful. What it does is that it causes earth and water attribute damage to up to 4 units of the opponent's lineup. It will also cause the affected units to suffer from slowdown for 2 rounds. Now currently, I'm not sure if anyone else gets that skill or that effect, but right now she is the only one in the game with the ability to slow down the enemy. Um, no one else has that ability. So that's actually pretty unique for her. I'm um, not sure if anyone else gets that ability, but she currently right now is the only one who is able to slow down characters in the game right now. If well in in the English version, of course. I'm not sure if anyone in China also gets this ability. Her uh, standard attack is the same as uh, what's his name, um, Onoki standard standard attack, where he gives you an extra standard attack to a random enemy. Earth style lightning bolt jutsu gain one extra stand attack to one ninja at random not to be overlapped with the effects of other standard attacks so that is pretty cool she you can give it to one random enemy in your team she can also give it to members in your rank battle team group teams or great ninja war so overall she is very good for great ninja war because she does slow down and she also has that extra standard attack then her chase is earth style erupt chasing attacks a repulse unit causes low float and then her second chase is water style water trumpet triggered with at least 10 combos will cause damage and 5 combos to 3 random units of the opponent so pretty cool pretty cool and a passive is increases ninjutsu by 12% for each unit with earth attributes from your team so let us just go over her stats right now so her growths are life is 2057, attack is 579, defense is 958, ninjutsu is 1420, resistance is 1211. So overall right now she is better, she has um, she has high ninjutsu growth and high life growth. That's one thing I've realized with the earth characters that I've been getting so far. They all have a high life growth, um, and I just find that a bit surprising to say the least. Like, they have a high life growth, um, and she is just an incredible partner. So, if you are going to be investing into Kurotsushi, you do want to buff her ninjutsu, and then if you also can make her survive long enough. And if you want us to slow down immediately and be the first person to skill, of course put her in place one so that she can slow down the enemy as fast as possible. Now in rank battle she is a bit tricky because for one you don't know who she's going to be giving the extra standard attacks to. She can also give it to herself again and again. Meaning like she gives it extra standard attack, she gets it and then she gives it to herself again and she doesn't do it again which actually sucks. Um, and then you also... Sorry, you also don't know who which team she's going to slow down, so there's also that. But overall, Kurotsuchi is a very very good partner to use. If you do get her, then of course you steam. You can. I wouldn't say she's the best ninja you can get, but you know, you're not you're not gonna get the the greatest ninjas right off the bat. 
but yeah so she was the first character i got from kage um she was on my first temple of course then the second character i got on kage was to rune so um i don't have him here so let me go into training um was Torune now Toruno Torune Toruno Torune is a bit of a funny character and here's why he is basically um Shino right I'm not sure which version but Shino just that he actually is better in a sense because the Shinos right now I think don't have any chases yeah none of the Shinos have a chase and he is basically an upgraded version of Shino in a sense because his his um mystery is extreme secret jutsu poisonous dust jutsu causes damage to up to nine units from the opponent's team and poisoning so he causes poisoning now the Shino the other version the first version of Shino I think no the great the just the normal Shino right now is he absorbs the Sichi chakra but he doesn't cause poisoning now his skill is a prompt which is good but and this one is a prompt as well but his skill which sucks isn't a prompt I wish it was a prompt because that would have been very good for his skill to be a prompt um, but it sucks it isn't a prompt so well hey it is what it is but the other um, his standard attack is Beetle Sphere attacks the opponent's first the opponent's front, front row and absorbs up to 20 chakra points also has a chance of triple combo and a repulse so he absorbs chakra on, on his dumbbell attack and he also has a chance of a triple combo and repulse now his chase he can also chase his standard attack which is good because some characters they can do a standard attack but they won't chase it if they have a chase at that um this chase is phosphorus destructive in destruct destruction insect chasing attacks a repulse unit causes low float and poisoning so he's a poison type person right his entire thing is about poisoning because his standard attack um his jutsu his mystery causes poison his chase causes poison you can make a poison team around this with this dude but keep in mind his skill isn't a prompt so it is either you do something to stop the other opponent's team from stealing or doing something because i currently have him in my rank team though he isn't like i have to upgrade a whole bunch of ninjas all these ninjas you have to be upgraded like all of these guys have to be upgraded right now because i don't have good ninjas at all um most of the teams i rock are with this type of lineup you know most of the teams i have include at least kimaru hinata or kimaru and kabuto most of the teams i I'd run at that you know I don't have good ninjas right now, so I really need more ninjas, so I plan to upgrade a lot of them, I plan to get them all plus 4 into red, because overall, for me to make teams, it's, it's it's very hard, I do have ninjas which are good, but are not yet awakened, and I am working on getting other ninjas, but any other way, out of that question, um, so yeah, that that's the one thing about him, which I actually like, I just don't like, that the fact that his skill isn't a prompt, but his passive is at the beginning of battle summon one insect clone with 100% life of the original unit with a phosphorus destructing insect body it can use a beetle sphere for standard attack so his clone can also absorb chakra yeah his clone can also absorb chakra when he does it the standard attack and though it like the sad thing about it is that it doesn't last the full i just realized the gloves are not advanced the sad thing about his clone is that it doesn't last the full match like, until it gets destroyed and he doesn't bring it back. Um, unlike Kiba whose clone does last until it gets destroyed though he cannot bring it back, his clone has a limited time. Kiba's clone is because he has to use it to do his mystery to get the um, four, the, like, the entire thing. Ooh, sorry, too tired. I record is it. I, um, because his clone is used in his mystery then it would last the entire match if it doesn't get killed but he on the other hand his clone doesn't last the entire match it has a limited time now I can say I can confirm this because I tried him out during the uh, training session with 
crunchy and it didn't last the entire thing of course it didn't last um, but it, it can take a, a good amount of damage it does have a lot of life obviously it's based on him and he does have a high life proof um, right now his mood is only 9% on life but I tried to I thought I would be using him but I strayed away from it because I, I didn't have any good ninjas to go with him but now that I got Akatsuchi a I can actually make good earth themes right now but anyways so let's check out his growths overall and let us just you know let me see which team actually has him in there Seventeen. yeah 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 probably done um so let's just let's just check out his growth so his growths are 2196 in life i told you like all of these new ninjas that i've got so far have high life growth from the kage treasure like the earth characters in the kage treasure seems to have a lot of life growth um then his attack is is his weakest growth with being five well in terms of main stats of course being 581 then his defense is, is 919 his ninjutsu is 1125 and his resistance is 1159 so what that tells you is that he is that you should either if you plan to use this ninja you, you should go for a ninjutsu mood minus attack that's the best group you can go for right now also with guru sushi um it's ninjutsu minus attack because ninjutsu is their strong suit of course now the next ninja we have is and the last one of course well not the last one because i still have um orichimaru trading but i'm not gonna go over him i did get him on a free pool and he's a fun troll ninja gonna develop a rank team because he summons um the Hokage, I wish when he summoned the third, the second Hokage, the second Hokage also will cast his skill the same way, um, what's his face, um, Hashirama does, but it sucks he doesn't. Next ninja we're gonna go over is Akatsuchi. Now, I actually wanted Akatsuchi a lot because he seemed like a pretty cool ninja. You know, though his skill isn't a prompt, which I really don't like prompts because, like, his skill causes interruption. I wish it was a prompt, but. It is what it is, um, but I really wanted Akatsuchi because he seemed like a pretty cool ninja to use and he seemed pretty fun. He seemed like I could use him in, in a, a bunch of teams and he would you know, really help make Earth a better main. Um, but anyways, let, let us check, check out his skills. So it is resummons the stone giant or cause damage and knock down to the opponent's entire team. If stone giant already exists in the field, this skill is immune to interruption. Um, then he basically is an earthman himself generates a shield up to two units with life with least life points from the lineup based on 20% of each unit's resistance based attribute so we will all, you will all get different shields based on your resistance then his chase is uh, chasing attacks a repulse unit causes knockdown his and then his one of his passives I think is this which where he summons his stone giant at the beginning kind of like those who use puppets and all that it doesn't last a full. It doesn't last a full thing before it gets killed. Of course, um, if bef even before it gets killed, sometimes you can go through, go through the training exercise. It, it wouldn't get killed, and what can happen is that, like you would have, if you plan to do his skill, like his his bad skill, the next round, but that disappears. Even if they didn't kill it, you do. You will have to resummon that and wait the two round cooldown to use it again. So that's that. That kind of sucks. Um, then his sorry, his second passive is at the beginning of a battle generates a shield to up to nine earth or fire attribute ninjas from your field, based on thirty percent of this unit's resistance based attribute. So he gives a shield to fire and earth. Now I think the same goes for um, what's his name Onoki. He gives to fire and earth. So overall, Akatsuchi is a pretty cool character. His growths are 2,329 on life, very high, very good. Attack is his weakest growth, which is 627. Defense is 928, and Ninjutsu 954. Resistance is 1,171. So you could either go resistance, plus resistance, minus attack, plus defense, minus attack, plus Ninjutsu, minus attack, 
I will more go for the either the plus HP though because his HP is very high and you also want his summon to have a lot of HP so he can last long in battle and if you do plan to use him in rank battle keep in mind that his skill is not a prompt so if either you put him in a place where his skill can cast be cast early or it can be utilized in a way where he would actually be able to do it before the stone giant can skip uh, but overall he is like these characters that are, are pretty cool you know or tomorrow Kona, um trader is also pretty cool with his little edo tensei thing i do plan to use him in great ninja war as well because he you know can bring the okage so i wonder how, how many hokages you can have on the field at once <laughs> i thought something what if i go with him and someone else knows. Um, does it say that there's a limit to the amount I have? Well, it doesn't say, but hey. So that's basically it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.